How is it going everybody? You're watching Danable Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can manage your files and documents in iCloud with your iPhone because as we all know we can use iCloud to store all kinds of iPhone related data so our backups, our apps, our photos, everything related to our iPhones can be stored in iCloud but what not everyone knows is that we can use iCloud to store any kind of data for that matter. We can use it to store uh, a file, a PDF file, any kind of document, a computer software, anything like that, and we can then access it from our Mac, from our iPad. It's automatically in the cloud and automatically distributed with all our Apple devices and even Windows PCs for that matter. So today I'm going to show you how you can manage those files, so how you can add them, open them, rename, delete, how you can do absolutely everything with your iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order to access and manage our iCloud files, we're gonna need to use an app called Files. But don't worry because this app is made by Apple, it's free, it is a native app that generally comes standard when you are setting up your iPhone. But if for some reason you don't have it, go to the App Store and search for Files, as you guys can see, for this blue folder, download it, and then you're good to go. So now that we have the app, let's go ahead and open it up. So let's open files. And as you guys can see, here's the home page and the name is iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive is the name of Apple's cloud storage service. So it is the same name you see on your Mac, if you have a Mac, because it is the same location where you can put files and save it to iCloud. And then it's gonna appear right here. Okay, so here I have a lot of folders, as you guys can see, documents and folders. And I even got I even got files, like this one, for example. This is a Windows copy, okay? This is the full Windows software. And as you guys can see, it is 4.69 gigs. And it is stored in my iCloud without a problem. Here in our home screen, we can sort the files by size, as it is right now. But we can also sort them by name, date, or tags. These are other options. Uh, also, we are seeing large icons right here, but we can have the option to see them as smaller icons, which you, you can see more information. It is just up to you. You also can uh, tap and hold to add a folder to another, which is quite handy as well. And we also have another feature right at the top called Select. So you can tap here to select, then tap on any folder or any file for that matter, and then you can delete, move, or duplicate though that or those files so in order to open any file is very simple so I'm gonna go here for this audio folder so I have some audios here and then these are some audios I can just tap here wait for it to load and then it's gonna play as you can see this is an audio folder and I cannot open it for copyright reasons but uh, let's go to this other folder right here uh, I've got this contract which is a PDF file and then I can just open it take a look at it no problem at all and as you guys just saw, this was not on my iPhone, this is in iCloud and now I can access on my iPhone. Now, if you want to, let's say, create a folder right here in your iCloud drive, you can just create one and I'm going to name it YouTube, for example. And even more, if you want to add a file that is in your iPhone to iCloud drive, let me show you how to do that. I've sent a PDF file to my own email account just so I can show you, you can add it to iCloud drive. So I've opened my email and I've got this email right here uh, and, then, and then I've got this PDF file as you guys can see. So it is a normal PDF file and here we can tap here to share and then save to files. If you don't have this option here, you can go to more and have a look if it is here hidden in more. So save to files and then the cool part is you can actually uh, put in any folder you want. So here are the folders I had it there and then I'm gonna put on YouTube which is a folder we have just created so add and then it is already there and I've sent the same thing to my iMessages so let's go to messages here I've sent the same PDF layout so we've got it here we can do the same procedure okay same thing if you got it uh, in messages and I've also sent a photo and we can do again the same thing so share and then save to files and then I'm gonna put on YouTube as well and add so now if I've added to our folder uh, two files, the PDF and the photo. So if you go here, YouTube, I've got two items. So I've got the photo and I've got the PDF file, as you guys can see. And now let me just show you that you can also rename it. So tap and hold, rename, and then I can just put PDF YouTube, done, 
it is renamed same story here tap and hold rename and then one two three four five because why not with the same tap and hold action we can also do more things so tap and hold and we can duplicate for example uh, we can also tap and hold and rename I've already shown you uh, move so we can move to any other folder as you guys can see here and we can also go ahead and delete because we don't need that one so we can do all of those things so one two three four five and PDF YouTube I've got those two files uh, that I've created and I also created this folder and now let's go ahead to our Mac and see if it's all linked up as it's promised to be so here I've got my Mac uh, it is just connecting to Wi-Fi as you guys can see but it has already created it has already loaded our YouTube folder that I, we have just created together and as you guys can see it is right there so let's just open this up and then we can see your photo and we can see your PDF file so how cool is that it's just instant it works very well uh, it just literally took 10 seconds for it to automatically install everything here and it would be even faster if this computer wasn't in uh, rest mode so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit the like button down below also click on my face on this little bubble right there to become my subscriber and also have a look at this video because I'm sure you are gonna love it so I'll see you guys next week bye bye